Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about accessing the non-local data on the stack. So, before discussing about this concept, we must know that what is the local data as well as non-local data. Now, to understand the what is a local data and non-local data, we will take a simple example. Okay. So, there is a procedure okay, and within the procedure, there is a one more function that is called as a queue procedure. Okay. Now, what is a local data? For the queue procedure, Q is the local data for the procedure. Okay, so that is the local data. Okay, for the P, Q is the local data because of this Q can be assigned within the procedure. That's why that become a local data. And what is the non-local data? Now similarly, there is a R. Okay, so now this R wants to access the Q data. That means now this R cannot represented in the particular program. Okay, now this R wants to access the Q data, then the Q can be considered as a non-local data because of if this R wants to access the Q data, initially this R can visit the procedure. After that, it can go to the that is called as it can access the Q data. That means where Q can be considered as a non-local data for R. Now, what is the local data? Q can be considered as a local data for the procedure. So, this is what is a local data as well as non-local data. Now, come to here. So, access the non-local data from the procedure that means where we need to modify the activation record. So, in order to access the non-local data, we have to modify the activation record. As we know that what is activation record? Activation record having the 7 parameters already we discussed in the last video. So, if you want to understand what is activation record, please watch my previous video okay, to understand clearly what is activation record. Now, in this video, that means we have to understand that how we can modify the activation record. To modify the activation record, we have some options. So, now come to here, what are the options we have? So, that is called as there is a options to modify the activation record. What is the first one? Data access without nested procedures. That is the first option here. That means, where if you want to access the data, okay, no need to provide that any nested functions. Without having the nested functions, we can access the particular data. Okay. Suppose, if you want to access the data without using the nested functions, then what we have to do here? We have to assign the particular data in the globally. Okay. You know that what is how you can assign the particular globally? If you assign the globally, that means those global variables can be accessed the entire program at any time. Okay. So, that is the first one. And next one is issues with the nested procedures and nested depth and access links and manipulating the access links and access to links for the procedure parameters and display. So, in this video, we will discuss one by one what is the each and every options to modify the activation record. Now, come to the first one. So, this is called as, okay. so what is the that is called as a data access without nested procedures. That means, we have to access the data without using any nested procedures. So, what happens if there is a nested procedures as we know that if there is any nested procedures, now it can take the that is called as execution complexity. Okay. So, many number of times we have to visit, many number of times we have to access the particular procedures. That is why okay, we cannot use the any nested procedures. So, instead of using the nested procedures, what we have to do here? So, as we know that there is a procedure and in within the procedure there is a queue, queue function. Now, if R wants to access the data okay, without visiting the procedure that is called as if R wants to consider that what is a R wants to access the queue data, then this R must visit the particular P and then it can access the queue. Okay. So, because of for R, Q can be considered as a non-local data. That means, so what we have to do? We have to access the data without using an nested procedures. Then, so if you want to access the data without uh, nested procedures, we have to do that only one thing. Okay. Try to avoid the nested processors and in place of nested processors, we have to declare the globally. That means, if you assign this queue on the that is called as a globally, then we may access directly. So, the, suppose if you assign the this queue on the globally, then directly that this R can access the uh, procedure queue. Okay. So, this is the simple uh, way how we can access the data without having any nested procedure. This is the first one and that is called as declare the globally, then it can be accessible 
throw out the program. That means whatever there is a national producers, we have to eliminate the national producers, and those producers can be assigned or declared in the uh, that is called as globally. Okay, that is the first one. And what is the next one? So that is called as issues with the national producers. As we know that what is the that is called as issues with the national producers. Already I told you that if there is a many number of national producers, okay, we may get that complexity of the particular execution of the program. Okay, if there is a producers are nested, which increase the code and execution complexity. Okay, so if there is a national producers, every time we have to visit that that is called as a parent producers as well as sub producers. Okay, it can increase the complexity of the particular program. Okay, and suppose simple example: if P Q or the recurs you, and if R wants to access the Q, then it has to go P first, and then the it can get that the recursive procedure leads to the complexity. Means every time, every time this R can visit the P to access the Q here. Okay, because of this R directly cannot access the Q processor means it is a nested processor so to avoid the nested processors where we have to assign the globally okay so then this R can directly access the particular okay processor directly so this is called as where what is the issue of the nested processors means okay now it can increase the code and execution complexity this is the only one issue for uh, if if any program having the nested processors and what is the third one Third one is nested depth. That means, what is a nested depth? If there is a any nested functions now or other nested processors, then we have to calculate that what is the depth of the nested processor. Now, what is the depth of the nested processor here? Now, there is a P. Okay, that is called as a processor, and this processor having the one of the sub processor that is called as a Q. Then, what is the depth of the particular nested processor here? There is no any further nested functions. That's why, what is the depth of this Q is one. Okay, so that is the only one. And what is the depth of this processor is? So there is a Q under the processor. So this is the one plus there is a one. What is the depth of the processor here? Two for the P. Okay, so now come to here. What is the depth of this R? So because of there is no any processors. There is no any processor for the R. That's why the depth of the processor become a only one. So this is how we can calculate the depth of the processor for each and every okay processors. That means now if R wants to access the data, then what is the depth of the particular nested here? One. If R, this R wants to access the data here, that is called the Q processor. Now directly you can visit the processor. Okay, what is the depth of the particular processor P here? Two. Okay, so what now? If this R wants to access the Q through the processor, what is the depth of the R here? That is called as a two plus one, three become. So that means if the depth is increased, automatically the complexity is also increased. Okay, so this is the a simple example how we can calculate the what is the depth of the particular nested functions. Here the nested depth of the particular processors are discussed. Okay, the nesting depth is one means. The processor is not having the nested with any other processors. Okay, if the depth of depth is a one, that means there is no any nested processors. If there is a two, there is a one nested function. If there is a depth is a three, then there is a two nested functions like this. Okay, so hence the depth of the R is only one. So this is called as what is a nested a depth. Okay, come to the third one. Sorry, fourth one. Okay, what is access link here? So it is a direct implementation of normal static scope rule for nested functions is obtained by adding the pointer is called as a access link. Okay, that means okay in the given program. Okay, how we can access the particular uh, links means now we have to identify that is there any nested functions. Now from the particular nested functions we we have to assign that what is the next processor, what is the next processors, and how we can access the particular next processors and so on. Okay, so simple example. If P Q are nested, then there is an access link from P to Q. Okay, must be there. That means if P and Q, so that means there is a access link. Okay, so and if R wants to access the Q, then it can connect through the access link. That means now there is a P and there is a Q. If there is a P and Q processors, now we must provide that what is access link. Okay, so if this R wants to access the data directly, this R can visit the what is access link. 
okay that is advantage of access link access links from a chain from the activation record at the top of the stack okay already we discussed in the last video please watch okay how we can take the chain of the particular activation record here that is fourth one our next one is come to the what is the fifth one manipulating access link so if depth is more we have to visit all the procedures hierarchically okay so if there is a many number of that is called as uh, uh, nested functions then automatically the depth of the particular nested function is increased if there is a that is called as a depth is more then we have to visit all the particular procedures hierarchically okay so now depending on that is called as a need a call the nested procedures by manipulating the access link that means if there is a need then we have to use the nested uh, functions or other nested procedures if there is no any need then we have to manipulate the access link okay based on the requirement that is called as manipulating the access link our next one is come to the what is access to links for the procedure parameters through the procedures parameters access the access links for the procedure that means now there is a p q and r so now with the help of the s yes, now we have to provide the access link okay that is called as okay access to links for the procedure parameters okay and last one is that is called as a display it's a very easy to understand a display the special stack only which represents the procedures which are accessing the non local data means in the given program we have to mention that one of the stack okay that is called as special stack okay with the help of that stack we can access the non local data okay this is called as what is a display so i hope you understand this is called as how we can access the non local data on the stack by modifying the activation record with the help of some options okay so thank you very much if you have any doubts please uh, comment in the comment box thank you everyone